It is that time of year when people try to scam you out of your hard-earned money. The Regional Federal Trade Commission breaks down how fraud and scams are affecting Idahoans right now. Eyewitness News 3 Seth Ratliff was on today's town hall meeting call. Americans lost more than $200 million to fraud in 2021, while Idahoans lost over $17 million. Even though more people are aware of fraud every year, scammers keep finding new ways to take your hard-earned money. The one that we're hearing about the most is what we call imposter or um, impersonator scams. And this is the most common scam that was reported to us by Idaho consumers both last year and this year. And they'll impersonate anyone and everyone, from law enforcement to tech support. We first heard about this a lot because they were claiming to be from Microsoft or Apple, and they were claiming they were going to provide tech support services for your computer, and they could fix it. Um, and, and But in exchange for they would ask for money, or they'd want to put something on your computer, which might be a virus or a malware. Scammers will often target different age groups in different ways. For example, they typically target people ages 20 to 29 through social media while targeting anyone over 70 over the phone. Different scams work with different populations. So some scams, um, for example, student loan scams that appear to impersonate debt, you know, student loan debt relief, those are going to work well, particularly with younger populations, early post-college years and have large debt. Experts at the Federal Trade Commission direct anyone who has been the victim of fraud to immediately contact law enforcement. But Harwood says it's better to be aware and avoid the scam entirely. Even though law enforcement you know, can punish the, the, the wrongdoers, the criminals, we actually think we prevent more scams and more money loss just through education. Uh, make sure people are educated and know what to look for when there is a scam or fraud scheme in their community. In Idaho Falls, I'm Seth Ratliff.